Hi, my name is Mary Donahue, and I'm a professor of art here at Shadron State College. Um, a little background on CSC. We're one of three institutions in the Nebraska State College system, publicly supported open enrollment college with close to 3,000 students. Our students come from small towns, farms, ranches, and some urban areas like the Colorado Front Range. And 45% of our students are first-generation college students. Our college is located in the small town of Shadron, Nebraska, tucked in the far northwest corner, not far from the South Dakota and Wyoming borders. Mount Rushmore is 75 miles to the north of us. And we are considered far and remote, a designation that means we are in an area of sparse population and at least 60 miles from a city of more than 10,000. Yes, we have peace and quiet here, but yet over the years I have noticed in our students increasing levels of anxiety, depression, and mental health issues. A 2018 report from the American College Health Association found that more than 60% of college students said they have experienced overwhelming anxiety, while 40% of students say they felt so depressed they had difficulty functioning. Is the digital world of so many distractions, too much information, and multitasking taking its toll on our students and on us? I have also noticed when we take students on trips to opportunities with places to play outside, how they get lost and relax, walking in the sand and rocks of the spiral jetty in Utah, or how they delight in skipping rocks on Yellowstone Lake. Our poster and design project is titled Bringing the Human Back to Center, connecting students to place and each other through the collaborative creation of a labyrinth on campus. The ideas and shapes of labyrinths have a long human history. Carvings on rocks, scratching on Neolithic pottery, Greek mythology, mosaics and Roman tiles, the actual labyrinths from medieval ages like those in Chart Cathedral. To the north, Native Americans created large medicine wheels on the land, and yes, the contemporary land art of the spiral jetty. This project started as a discussion with campus and community members. In small groups, we viewed webinars on labyrinths in higher education from the Veritas organization. We started to see labyrinths as a way to engage students in hands-on, high-impact learning practices, to think about historical and artistic aspects, and also to allow them to connect to each other and to the place they find around them. And through this process, maybe find a calm and centering escape from the modern day digital overload. This place, this cistern, is just above campus. It was used as a water storage facility in the early days of the town. It's a short walk from our classrooms. It offers a respite in nature from the noise of the daily life below and an awesome view of the Pine Ridge, High Plains, and Black Hills. The graphic design practicum students started with research, looking at human history of labyrinths, the use of it in healing places such as hospitals, in higher education. We also discuss the ideas of mental health and stress reduction in relation to labyrinths and spending time in nature. In January, we hiked to the site from our classroom to look at the location, to walk the site, to measure it physically. Later, our campus horticulturalist and landscape designer, Lucinda, talked with the students about materials, how to look at a site, um, and how to make plans and sketches for a landscape area. As I tell students with many assignments, this is an experiment. Some of these things we have never done before. We will see how the next steps of the process proceed. We need to secure permission from the administrators to move forward. We need to figure out how to actually build a labyrinth at this site, what materials we might use, how to fund those materials. But once we solve these parts of the design problem, the ways the campus and community can benefit from this project are many. We envision students in art classes participating in creating this land art piece, sculpture and ceramics students creating pieces for it, students in history, literature, science, math coming up here to, for discussion, and a work site for our annual college volunteer day. We can create a place of art, of history, of wonder, of contemplation, of peace. A refuge to connect us to nature and to each other in these unsettling times.